marriage equality of same sex lgbtq couples did not arise for consideration in any of the previous decisions of this court including the decision in navtej nalsa consequently there cannot be a binding precedent on this court the reasons for arriving this conclusion are articulated in detail with justice watt A five-judge constitution bench headed by Chief Justice of India D. Y. Chandrachur on Tuesday, October 17th, unanimously declined to recognize same-sex marriages. Here are five key takeaways from the verdict. Number one, Supreme Court on same-sex marriage rights. All five judges on the bench, including the CJI and Justice Call, who batted for civil unions, agreed that there is no fundamental right to marry under the constitution. Number 2 Supreme Court on Special Marriage Act All five judges also unanimously agreed that it is not possible to tweak the Special Marriage Act 1954 by using gender neutral language to allow same sex marriage The petitioners had asked the Supreme Court to interpret the word marriage as between spouses instead of man and woman Alternatively the petitioners had asked for striking down provisions of the SMA that are gender restrictive However, Chief Justice of India Chandrachur said striking down the SMA provisions would jeopardize the legal framework for interfaith and intercaste couples. He also added that interpreting the Special Marriage Act in a gender-neutral way would amount to judicial lawmaking which would violate the doctrine of separation of powers. Four of the five judges CJI Chandrachur, Justice Call, Justice Bhatt and Justice Narsimha wrote individual opinions justice bhat justice kohli and justice narsimha formed the majority while the cji and justice call wrote minority opinions in favor of extending civil union to same sex couples it is also important to note that a civil union refers to the legal status that allows same sex couples specific rights and responsibilities that are normally conferred upon married couples however it does not have the same recognition in personal law as marriage number 4 supreme court on rights granted to non heterosexual couples on the bouquet of rights all five judges took note of the center stand that a high level cabinet committee will look into rights that can be conferred on non heterosexual couples this would range from opening joint bank accounts same sex spouses being a beneficiary for provident fund pension or inheritance being able to take medical decisions for other spouse etc number 5 supreme court on adoption rights of non heterosexual couples the minority view by cji chandrachur and justice call struck down specific guidelines by the central adoption resource authority that is cara to the extent that it disallowed same sex or unmarried couples from jointly adopting a child The CJI in his opinion said that it is discriminatory to assume that only married heterosexual couples can provide a safe space for raising children.